hello Leo and welcome back to my channel and this is your June reading from anything spiritual and a card has jumped out already and that's the six of swords and that shows movement action six are to do with being kind to yourself and looking after yourself it's when things don't go to plan and this is to do with stability so you're having to make changes and you can see in this water here the rocky waters so what's been rocky for you leo is it a person is it a situation have you been dealing with a toxic person a toxic situation something that you just don't want to be around anymore that you feel you need to leave behind and wrap yourself up for protection and the next card up there the four of ones stability look at him he's got his ones all straight up and he's trying to balance things on them he's wanting stability he's wanting to create something that you can trust that you can rely on that you can feel safe when you've been in a toxic situation or you've got a toxic person around you, you don't always feel safe. And this is someone that can keep asking for more and more and you have to keep giving. We've got that six of pentacles there, okay? And you can see them with their hand out. Nothing's ever enough. They want more. And you keep giving. But there comes a time, Leo, where you get fed up of it and this is more than one person here we've got a couple of people and it's like you give and give and give for some people this could be financial for some people you could keep giving finances money to someone and it's not enough they want more to other people it could be your time so there's a situation around you where you're giving your time or your money and you just feel that it's not enough. It's not going the way you want. And then we've got the King of Cups here. Again, emotions, things close to you. So this is something that's close to you. And we know it's close to you because it's upsetting you. It's not making you feel very happy. It's making you feel that you need to leave that situation or stop doing this particular thing and the king of cups this again can be somebody who you can't always trust they probably like to argue you, you probably just feel that it's just not worth arguing with them so again this toxicity is coming out here but I've pulled a card to clarify that top row you are moving forward in your life and you're making changes, Leo, to get this toxic person well out the way. You're making changes. You are in control. So whatever situation is around you, Leo, if you feel that you are not in control of this toxic person, trust me, you are. And here we go. The positive cards are coming out the sun you're making yourself happier you're creating a new life around yourself where you're feeling happier and the queen of pentacles the earth sign stability so you are creating stability around yourself you had to leave the negativity i feel for a lot of you leo you probably already left that toxic person but perhaps they're still creating issues in your life that you'll now happen to look at your life and reflect and think right they're still creating a problem with this they're still creating a problem with that what can i do now to eliminate that problem what can i do because remember you are in control of this situation you're making the changes okay so this is some of you if this is an ex and a business partner or a boss somebody that keeps coming back for some reason whatever reason they come back for can this be done online can this be done by text can you put specific things in place 
a certain day's time so they don't have to contact you anymore. Whatever it is, if you are having to pay somebody back for something, can you set up like direct debit or stand in order or something? Limit the contact you have to have with this person. Limit the control they have because Leo, that is what you're doing this month. You're looking at ways of limiting this other person taking from you. And you're going to feel a lot happier. The Sun card is about enjoying yourself, having fun, getting that energy back that you had when you know you were younger and you're sort of carefree. You're creating stability here with that Queen of Pentacles. Because this has hurt you, this situation. And perhaps some of you have not still quite got over the hurt of it. But you are trying to create a happy, stable home life for yourself. So we do have some positive cards here. But this toxic, negative situation still seems to keep creeping back in, doesn't it, Leo? But you are finding ways of slowly eliminating it. And before I even had a chance to ask for a card, your guardian angels... I've sent one out for you and it's the healer of thought. So this is a message from your guardian angels, Leo. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganised. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. And can you believe it, of all the cards to come out, we sat there and said in that card here, people taking from you. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful and caring, has a wonderful sense of humour and offers a lot of life experiences. So Leo, time to cl clear up your life and get rid of the people that take. Get rid of a situation where you give and get nothing back. It will be different for everybody. Remember, these are general readings and they resonate with people differently. Some of you, this will be a situation. For others, it could be relationship. It could be ex-relationship. It could be boss. It could be friends. It could even be family members who take from you and don't give back. You will know, Leo, be personal to you in some way. But whichever way in which it comes, it's time to clean up your life. I mean, sometimes it is nice to give and not expect something back but when it's constant and when it drains you then it's no good you can't have your energy drained you need your energy for your own life and your own family okay leo let's have a look at love and relationships remember these are um, june readings and i am doing some six month readings so we we did year ahead ones back in sort of october november cards falling out all over and what I've been doing is listening back to them and then doing sort of six months ahead so look out for that Leo I don't think yours is out yet but it will be out at some point your two loving relationship cards that have come out a soulmate and free yourself yes this is your soulmate and it's time to take back control of your life so for some of you, like I said, this could be an ex or somebody else in your life, but your relationship is important. You've met somebody or you know your soulmate. For some of you are single, perhaps you've met somebody and you're thinking, is this person good for me? Your soulmate. So some of you are currently with or have met your soulmate. But again, it's time to take back control of your life. So even if these cards don't represent your relationship. If you're allowing someone to take the drain in your energy, it's going to affect your relationships. So your loving relationship cards are telling you to free yourself from that which tries to control you. You need to take back your life and concentrate there on your relationship. So for those of you in a relationship, you're quite possibly got your soulmate or you've met your soulmate and you need to free yourself from the problems that are interfering. For those of you single, again, free yourself from any negativity, any toxicity, and hopefully that soulmate will be able to come to you because when you clear a space from your life, something new has to come in. Universal laws out there, when you create a space, 
the universe fills it with something. So there we go, Leo. Lovely reading for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.